I've been through many of these budget addresses, and um, every year it's, uh, it's something different. This year, uh, you know, there's a lot of good things that we heard today. The only question is, um, how do we pay for it? For example, the transportation needs of the state of Connecticut. Everybody knows that our highways are in, in desperate uh, need of uh, being widening and, and, and creating better access uh, to get from point A to point B, but how do we pay for that? Um, the, 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 the toll idea with the lockbox idea, is it a doable idea? Um, so there's a lot of unanswered questions there. Um, the second chance, who doesn't want to give somebody a second chance? I was here back in the 90s when we uh, reformed a lot of, uh, um, uh, ma made it tougher on crime here in the state of Connecticut. I don't certainly want to turn the clock back and make it easier so that people think that they can go out there and offend and not worry about being uh, punished for it. Um, all day kindergarten um, that the governor proposed, I think it's a great idea. The only thing is I don't want to make it an unfriended mandate to our local communities. I think that should be kept up to our local communities. Um, so there's been a lot uh, that the budget uh, that the governor gave us today in terms of the budget. There's a lot of unanswered questions. Um, as this process goes on, we'll figure out if there's going to be a happy medium between our side of the aisle and, uh, and the other side of the aisle to make a lot of these things happen. But we're all here to work hard on behalf of the citizens of Connecticut, and do, we'll do what we can to make, uh, make this state a better place.